another big son of a saw killed by a known gunman in the southeastern region. Joe Ibukwe quotes Agunzi Azuka. Welcome to the news. And thank you for tuning in to listen. A few hours ago, the former spokesperson of All Progressive Congress, APC, Lagos State Chapter, Do Ibokwe, took to his social media page and shared Agunzi's statement about a big man in the Navy known as Chief Gibb or former, who was killed by a non gunman in the southeastern region. Since these killings have defied, as in, the security operative have told us that they cannot do anything about it because we keep hearing more killings since when they have left, since when they have arrived. I think more people are deployed to the southeastern region to come you know, everywhere before the election in Anambra State. And since then, they've remained there. But ever since then, we don't hear about, we don't hear about, oh, the police catching people. All we hear about is innocent youths are actually being killed. Innocent youths have been abducted and arrested. Why are they not too in the part of dialogue? Because they know dialogue will solve the problem, right? Meaning they don't want the problem to be solved. The news in detail, please stay with us. On the sharp post, Joy Bokwe quoted Agun's statement about Chief Gabe Oforma, who was said to have visited his home in an area and was killed by a known gunman when he was going back to his base in Port Harcourt. Joy Bokwe quoted Agun's saying, Another book, another son of a soy killed by a known gunman in the southeast. Nevi Iroko gunned down. After visiting his home in the Nui when he was on his way to his base in Port Harcourt, Chief Game of Former Ojemba Enwe Ilu Nui, Chairman CEO of a former Associates Limited, was got down in cold blood on Sunday by those who kill for no reason. In conclusion, he said that Chief Game of Former was killed in the Ubo Lilu Odomowa Ziambosi Road, which connects Anambra State to Imo State, stressing that the government must have killed him because he was driving an SUV. Do you think that the killing in the south in the southeast is carried out by the IPOP members? Joe Ibokwe members post Joe Ibokwe post read another great son of Nnewi brought down by IPOB, ESN and unknown gunmen. Another big son of a soil killed by the unknown gunmen in the southeast. Aru. Newi ne Roko gone down after visiting his home and was on his way back to his base in Port Harcourt. Chief Gabe of former Ojemba Enwe Ilo Newi, chairman, CEO of a former Shichit Limited, was gone down in cold blood on Sunday by those who killed for no reason. <laughs> Sincerely, I don't want to believe that the iPod are behind this. Yes, I don't want to believe so. Why will I kill my own people? Think about it. That, that is the only rationale I'm saying. No matter if those people are saying they don't, they don't stand with you, I don't think that you are going to go and you will allow... How am I going to put the frustration to make you... No, no. At the end of the day, we'll find out where this killing is coming from. The wind of crisis will blow. It will blow in the houses of those who are sponsoring the crisis. And the truth will come out. I just pray that so many people will not have been lost that time. Sincerely. <laughs> All the senseless killings of innocent Nigeria and the base legs it at home on every Monday may have a negative effect on the social economy of the region. Are you saying may have? It has. It has a negative effect. Not may. It has a negative effect. An Igbo adage says those that says that he who teeth are supposed become known as the person with big teeth. We don't know who to believe again as ESN and IPOB has complicated issues with threats, accusations, counter accusations and denials. The truth remains that whoever, whatever group that were responsible for this mindless case and shedding of blood of Igbo sons and daughters will never go unpunished. They have provoked generous causes for themselves and their born generation. Of course, nature will fight for them. This is definitely, it is against nature to take one's life. Do you give life? No. Can you even give a life 
I mean, can you give life to an ant? To as little as an ant or mosquito? No. Then don't take it. <laughs> God of Gabe of Oma, so sad. A consultant to Shell, may he so rest in peace and may the Almighty God. <laughs> Sincerely. So, Joey Bokwe has contacted an investigation find out that it was IPOB and ESN that killed the man. This Joe Ibokwe is the biggest. <laughs> it is not funny. Sincerely. It's not funny. Welcome to Nigeria where the president prefers to give um, advice that another country should tow the path of dialogue while his own country bonds. Welcome to Nigeria where the killings in a particular zone on a daily basis. They kill people, they slaughter them more than chickens have been slaughtered on Christmas Day. And yet, a state of emergency is not declared in those states. But in another part of a country where the crisis there is actually politically motivated, they are told that they are going to be, you know, declaring a state of emergency soon. Welcome to Nigeria. Welcome to Nigeria where your only crime will be to come out and speak and saying the, con the situation of a country is bad and you are picked up and thrown. You conduct a protest, you're thrown in prison. Welcome to Nigeria where thieves, where murderers are, are commissioners of police. They are placed in high places and yet the free ones, they are just civilians. And at the end of the day, the so-called commissioners of police, the so-called people who they put to enforce the law, are the ones who kill the civilians just because the civilians do not give them what they want. Welcome to Nigeria. Welcome to Nigeria, where the oppressed walk around freely. Where the oppressors walk around freely and the oppressed are actually being thrown in prison. Welcome to Nigeria, where you don't have money is a crime, and when you have money is a crime. Welcome to Nigeria, where you're being questioned on how you made your money. Meanwhile, when you are making it, it was clear open. Welcome to Nigeria where things do not work. Welcome to Nigeria where we practice a dictatorist, dictator system of government and a tyrannical system of government and we claim we practice democracy. Welcome to Nigeria where it is better they told the part of violence than they told the part of dialogue. Welcome to Nigeria where history was hidden so that people will not know the truth. Welcome to Nigeria. These killings happening on a daily basis is becoming too much. Sincerely, it is becoming too much. If they don't hold the part of dialogue soon or later, I don't know what will happen. It's not it's not it's not looking it's not looking like it's stopping anytime soon. It is not looking like it's stopping anytime. May God protect us all. May He protect us all. On this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of the day.